EA Sports. It's in the game. The top two teams in the nation, number one versus number two. Anticipation has been building forever, it seems, for this game. And now we're closing in on kickoff. The emotion, the intensity starting to rise. So too, the decibel level inside the stadium. Who best handles the nerves might be the team that gets the early jump in this game. Kickoff is looming. Time for ESPN's college football. In the booth tonight, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Time for Brad to take it away. We come to you from Death Valley, where crowds have once registered as an earth tremor at the school's geology department. Now, this one should be exciting. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler with Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews. We've got more NCAA football 13 for you. Tonight's matchup is presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll be seeing the Alabama Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. to bring you more exciting football as the bowl and national championship pictures start to take shape. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. LSU is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Sends it sailing downfield. Signals for a fair catch. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Longhorns were ranked number 10. They proved to be most deserving of that lofty spot. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. In another game, the Cornhuskers were ranked number 13. They took care of business, and they should hold their spot next week. And for Nebraska, they've won eight games on the season. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. He might have a chance. He's tackled the 32-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down.
They'll work the right side. He's to the 40. At the 40. Inside the 30. Number Great 22. run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. On the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. They give to the tailback. Ball is loose. Now the defense has it. The safety. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Hokies were ranked 15th. Their job, don't get caught nappy. They did that and then some. They hope to move up in the polls next week. And for Virginia Tech, this W gives them eight wins on the year. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. From the 18-yard line, it's second down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Bounces off. Touchdown, Alabama. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And that was a display of some very strong running to get through those tacklers. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a short three-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Alabama ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. What? Nice run up the middle. Makes the tackle. And four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Quick out to his receiver. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. He scrambled. He's at midfield. Slides down to the ground. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. made at about the 37 yard line the back gets three on the carry that'll make it second and seven second down at seven coming up here ball on the 37 yard line throws and he's right there to knock it away down now and they need to get it down to the 30. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. 
Alabama is up seven. Gives it to the back. And down he goes to the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He drops back. Tackle at the 49. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, as we check in on the Mountain West, a variety of styles in this conference. Boise State wins it 31-24. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Alabama leads it 7-0. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Here's the halfback. Brought down at the 40-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here. But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. <laughs> Off balance throw. Got him anyway. He's at the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. converts the extra point. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. He puts it deep downfield. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 17. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Green to the back, no good. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 18. They come out in an empty backfield. He gets sacked on the play. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he can't hang on to the ball. That's a tough play. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback.
from their own 46 yard line. It's second down. They go to the ground. It's a fumble. The offense falls on him. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. to pass and he's knocked out immediately after the catch nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down from the 43 yard line first down and he might change the play here before the snap can't find anyone open once it all going deep intercepted And he tackles him hard at the 30. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. What? Drops back on first down. He's going to go for the home run. Doesn't get there. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30. They come out in a five-wide set. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 30. He drops back. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. So at the end of the half, Alabama leads it 14-0.